saving more lives is the driver for coming up with new ideas for our seatbelts. When I started at Altolive 20 years ago as a development engineer, the first compact pyrocretentioner with ball chain drive was being developed. Back then I thought, what more can we develop for the future? Now look how far we've come since the birth of the traditional three-point belt back in 1950s by Niels Bolin. It is estimated that more than a million people have been saved since seatbelts were introduced, and I'm sure it will save more than a million more. The seatbelt patent has been deemed one of the eight patents of most importance to mankind. It joins the list with Thomas Edison's light bulb. Autoliv has been leading the automotive restraint industry with first to market innovations like the adaptive load limiter in 2002. We are also very successful fast followers, as in the case of our pre pretension technology. We are currently seeing a strong need to further increase comfort and convenience. This is critically important when looking at the present accident data, where one of the main causes for fatalities is because people are still not wearing their seatbelts. So features that will help and attract occupants to buckle up are being developed and will be one focus for the future. These are, for instance, dual retractor systems, electrical buckle presenter, and buckle illumination. Autonomous driving is also a driver for innovation for the seatbelt. We see new challenges for functionality with the current prototypes we see for these future cars. So, what could be the seatbelt for 2050? Seatbelts are the primary restraint system in our cars today, and they will continue to be important for the future ahead. Only the focus and functionality will adapt to a very challenging and continuously changing environment. Quality and innovation are core to all we do and our products don't get a second chance.